Today I'm Rowan Reed. This is our uh, young oak forest that we planted back in 1995. We planted about twice the number of trees as you can see, using sleeves to help them grow quickly when they were young. And as they've been growing, we've been pruning the branches up to produce nice clean wood. So what is it up to now from 1995? It's almost 25 years old since planting, to almost exactly. And we've got trees now in the order of 25 centimetres in diameter. So for an English oak, they've grown fairly quickly. And if we can maintain that growth rate, we'll be well on the way to get a large log, 55 centimetres in diameter, maybe a little bit larger in another 20 years or so, because these trees are just starting to grow. But if they're going to grow in diameter, they need space. And that's been one of the issues with forestry generally. People grow their trees close together when they're young and they don't thin, they just get more and more competitive between them for light. And that slows down their growth dramatically. Some people are telling me that these fast growth trees, uh, a lot of the ones we have on the property, they're growing too fast, they'll be low in wood density. So what I wanna do in this short series is show you something interesting about each individual species. And if I was gonna show you our oak forest on one of our tours, I would show you this little demonstration that we're going to look at right now. This is a piece of English oak that we harvested from this site. One of the thinnings here, milled it up, dried the timber, and uh, that timber now has got some nice dark color into it. Now, if you look closely at the end grain, you can see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven growth rings across that growth. So this is a good example. It's been growing in the order of two centimeters diameter per year over that period of time before I harvested it. Now the common thinking would suggest, well, fast growth means it's very low in wood density. English oak in Europe has a wood density of about 700 kilograms per cubic meter when it's air dried. And what we mean by that is at 12% moisture content. So if I was to drop this in water, if it was 700 kilograms per cubic meter, it would float. I'll just show you what happens. Straight to the bottom. Our English oak has grown two, four, six, or even eight times faster than native English oak in Europe. Our trees are less than 20 years old when I harvested these and took that wood sample from the trees. But it sinks in water when it's dry. That means its wood density is over 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. That is 30%, 40% higher than what the books would tell you. Now this is nothing new. The Europeans have known that the faster you grow English oak in diameter, the higher the wood density. So the king's forests, the naval trees, the naval forests that were used to make the battleships, always were the fastest growing trees. Were always spaced to give those trees room to spread out and rapid diameter growth. And they were even pruned in some cases to get that nice clean timber. What we're doing on our farm, it's nothing new. No secret genetics, no fertilizer, no tricks. I'm using the old science of tree growing, the old science of forestry to grow trees that are very high in quality for the future. So if you're into that, check out Heartwood, my book on the art and science of growing trees for conservation and profit. There's a whole chapter in here about English oak and I could go into a lot more detail about why the wood from fast growing oak trees is heavier. But this is just a teaser. But have a look at that and start challenging the myths that you hear about forestry. Because forestry can be the solution to conservation problems rather than the problem itself. Thank you. Check out my website, www.agroforestry.net.au for more on this and other tree species and the science and the art of tree growing.